I know what the answer will be? It's impossible, but this thing, this is bigger than what we can see. This is destiny. And that's from the Virgin Madison County, the musical starring stage stars Kelly O'Hara and Stephen Pasquale. Stephen just said, hey, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> and they're both here on the couch with us uh, today. Wow, what a treat, what an honor. Thanks. Uh, Thanks by, uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. I mean, everybody's loving it. But let me ask you guys, the, the book, the movie, and now the stage version, what is it about this story that is so appealing? Oh. Well, it's really relatable, I think. You know, everyone who's been in a long-term relationship can understand sort of needs and longings. And, um, you know, there's the th our three central triangle characters. Uh, I feel like everyone can relate to one of them, depending on what stage you are in your life. So people are responding deeply. Yeah, and I think it's important to say you don't have to agree with the subject matter. You don't have mm -hmm. to say that that would be your choice. You can actually come and assess your own feeling about it. Would I make that choice? Would I, mm -hmm. uh, would I do the opposite? Um, would I leave with the man? Would I stay with my family? It actually starts to really make you think, and we find that people in the audience, we see them reach yeah. over and yeah. 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 couples and grab each oh, other and, and cry at the loss of, of a long marriage, a loss of someone. Um, it's not just about the affair or the love story. Um, it's about an entire lifetime of choices. Yeah, it finds people wherever they are. Yeah. Yeah, if I was an older Italian woman, you know, lonely, and a hot photographer came to town, eh, I might be tempted. All of a sudden, we're doing a different movie. Especially if it looked like that. <laughs> yeah, especially if it looked like that. Yes, right? <laughs> You'd be tempted. So did you guys actually, did you read the novel? Did you also, you know, see the movie before? You didn't want it to affect your... You know what, our, our show's loosely based on that stuff. We, our, our wonderful writers have populated mm -hmm. the world of this story. The, the book and the film are about really the two people and we've populated the world with the townspeople of Iowa and people from Francesca and Robert's past and the family so it's got a much more sort of grand uh, classic Broadway musical yeah. template. Oh well then, oh, that's that's interesting. Yeah. How big is the cast? 18? 16 I think? Yeah. yeah. Something. So there's, so there's there, there are some big numbers then there are some um, bigger well, ensemble Well, you know, members? they keep it very, um, our director, it's very intimate, intimate. but you have the voices. Mm -hmm. You Ooh. have the, and you know, really the, the, the larger part of the cast, um, they serve as kind of that, that eye and that ear that you think is out there. Ooh, yeah. uh, so it's, you know that it's very, very heavy with the secret because of them, and that the swelling music can be, um, can be bigger because of those voices. But we don't try to make big group numbers, you yeah. know. We don't, have, it's more of an intimate show. Now, were you at all anxious about portraying, you know, Clint Eastwood and Mill Street? They had such great chemistry. So were you anxious about trying to bring that to the stage? Um, not anxious. Um, uh. the, the, the writers did such a good job. I think Kelly and I were just excited to sort of step into these roles. We didn't do too much visiting of Meryl or Clint in our prep. I mean, uh, I, I think I'd be know, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try to do Meryl. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I tried very hard to, because I'm one of the, her biggest fans, uh, to try to, um, I didn't go back and watch the movie, uh, but I, I know her, and, and she, she did something with her Francesca, and I could only go to my Francesca and mm. find out how I related to Francesca, and, um, and then just hope that we, we made that story clear, as opposed to, um, they're just two, you have the source material, and you have their version, and then you have our yeah. version. So we tried not to use that as another bit of our... Were you involved in the process early on? Oh, since the very beginning. And four what, years. What, draw you, what drew you to this work? Well, um, you know, as a, as a musical theater um, performer, when a composer and a writer like Jason Robert Brown and Marsha Norman come to you and say, we're going to write something for you, wow. you know, it, it doesn't really matter what it is, to mm -hmm. be honest. You say, uh, yes, please. Yeah. And, uh, and so I completely threw myself into it. Um, and what they've come up with is, is more than I could have ever imagined as far as getting to sing the way I want to sing, getting to be challenged as an actress. Obviously, I'm not an Italian woman. <laughs> uh, um, and it's, it's just been really, really fun. And then to work with people like Steve, who's an old friend. So. Yeah, now how did that happen? You guys all did some plays together back in the past? Oh, my gosh. We, Kelly was one of my first friends when I moved to New York in 2001. We've worked together probably for, over the years four or five times. But this is our this sort of big thing that we've been waiting to do together. Well, we lost Steve to, the telev to television. Yeah. Yeah, because so you were doing so much with television, yeah. so do you prefer right. to do that? Do you like being on the I'd stage? I prefer or? being on stage, actually. Really? Why? I mean, well, because you have to get up at 5 in the morning when you work on TV. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and, and, unless, you unless you come to be on the couch. <laughs> 2.30, actually, but yeah, close. That's yeah. way less fun. So, yeah. uh, it was just, it's good to be back um, singing and with old friends. How do you guys do it? I have such respect for you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Eight shows a week. 
How do you how do you keep the energy up? How do you keep your voices safe? How do you keep from catching a cold because you yeah. got to kiss so much on, on during the <laughs> show? You know what? Early on, we were like, your germs are my germs for the next <laughs> year. So whatever it is, it, that's what it's going to be. But it's a muscle, you know. It's eight, eight shows a week is like a you know an athlete mentality. You got to really be good right. here. So I think that we're making them talk today. No, no. It's okay. <laughs> but he also said, my ch I have two kids. I just had a baby this year. He said their germs are also his germs because <laughs> right, I right. pick up what they get and then give it to. Right. You know, we're just trying to stay safe. We're trying to get rest, take care of ourselves. So the show is basically a giant cesspool. They, pretty much. And yeah, you just put much. on a show. Yes. I yes, have a rule yes. with my dresser. I say, if anyone touches me that's not Kelly, give me some Purell. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're wow. trying to keep, keep it just yeah. to the two of us. But you, can, you know, it's life. You can't help it. And we have yeah. amazing covers and, and you know, yeah. we're well equipped over there. Yeah. Uh, people love it. So uh, all the best. People thank are you. loving it. So yeah, I, 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 I hope the word of mouth, yeah. and I hope yeah. they keep coming. Yeah. Good, good, Come good. Check it out. Yes. Well, thank you guys for coming, uh, Kelly O'Hara and Stephen Pasquale thank from you. the Bridges of Madison County. Wow, at the Schoenfeld uh, in the 236 West 45th Street. For more information, go to wlnytv.com slash the couch or walk down Broadway and look at the signs. They're everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me.